to our webinar, uh, customer loyalty in vending from a one-time buyer to a returning customer. I am Gun, I am head of product here at Venton and I will be the speaker today. Uh, thank you for joining me for today's presentation. It was very exciting for me to talk to you today as the topic of loyalty has been on my agenda for multiple years now, especially while developing our own payment and loyalty solution QuickPick, but also because IoT and telemetry are extremely valuable when it comes to ensuring customer satisfaction and motivating them to come back for another sale. In case you have some questions during the talk that you would like me to address, do the chat please, and I will answer them after my talk. Before we move on to today's topic, I would like to introduce Vendon or remind you of who we are and what we do. We are an IoT company based in Riga, Latvia, and that provides a complete suite of telemetry and payment solutions to coffee and vending businesses. We started out over 11 years ago, so we are true pioneers of the industry and have lots of experience in the bag. And we are using this experience to help our customers grow. Vendon is present in over 75 countries all over the world. And we have partner offices in multiple regions, which allows us to provide local support to our customers. Our solutions work with a wide range of machine models and uh, manufacturers, including vending machines, coffee machines, reverse vending machines, juice machines, and others. One very important thing to note, we're not just a telemetry and payment service provider. Uh, if you look at our infrastructure, you can see that we enable our customers to do more. Our offering does not stop at telemetry and payments, but extends to APIs, loyalty systems, and remote control of the machines and more. Indeed, we are a platform that is suited to almost anyone in the vending and coffee business, from operators just starting out, to giants in the industry, to manufacturers who are looking for a trustful partner. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about customer loyalty in the vending and coffee industry. What it is, why it is important, and what are the main aspects that contribute to an increase in customer engagement. Broadly speaking, customer loyalty is a measure of a customer's likeliness to do repeat business with a company or a brand. It is a result of customer satisfaction, positive customer experiences, and the overall value that a customer receives from a business. For some of you, the question might arise, is not repeated business related to habits rather than loyalty? And you might be right to ask so. For instance, I usually shop at a particular grocery chain, not because I like it too much, but because it is usually on my way. Uh, so I could say that I'm not very loyal to it, but it is a, habit, a question of habit and convenience. Yet I do prefer it over other chains, which I could choose because they're not far away from me. Plus, I like the bonuses that I accumulate by, uh, by using the store card. So I can say that there is both an element of habit and loyalty that is guiding my actions. So what is the difference between habits and loyalty? Let us look at what research says. When you form a habit, it allows you to act without thinking. For example, you always grab a cup of coffee after lunch because you are used to it. Your cue is lunch is over. Your action is you press the button on the machine and your reward is uh, the cup of coffee. That makes up the habit loop. Uh, loyalty, on the other hand, means that you show preference over one brand to another because there's a specific benefit to you or that may be your personal preference. We could say that there's both a, an emotional link that drives your actions. For instance, in my home country, uh, lots of people favor the coffee of a specific petrol chain and they will go out of their way to buy this specific coffee when they are in need of a cup of joe. I believe both elements are important to score customers who return. It is a mix of how well you can influence their habit building and create an emotional link with the brand. I will keep using the word loyalty mostly here, but some arguments are also valid for habit building as the relationship between habit and loyalty is symbiotic it means that one feeds off of the other and vice versa. So you may also wonder, uh, why do I need to think about loyal customers? What is it then for me as an operator? Well, uh, research shows that customer acquisition is cheaper, uh, customer retention is cheaper than new customer acquisition, up to five times in fact. 
And the three time customers are more profitable, which means that they will usually spend more money than new customers. Thus, it is clear that loyal customers are very good for your business. There is a caveat though. Loyalty is hard to earn, but easy to lose. But about that, a bit later. When we're thinking and talking about loyalty, usually one thing springs to mind. Loyalty programs. These days, it seems like they are everywhere. Supermarkets have them, petrol stations have them. Your favorite restaurant might have a loyalty program. So the immediate conclusion might be, I need a loyalty program for my vending business and all of my problems will be solved. Unfortunately, that is not so. As you may have gathered from my explanation of what, what loyalty is, as customer loyalty is a, and customer loyalty and habit building takes much more than that. It is a complex mechanism that weaves through the whole customer experience from the very beginning to the very end. So what I am proposing here is uh, having a look at the main aspects of uh, loyalty and habit building and share some ideas on how to pass the loyalty test with flying colors. The first thing seems pretty obvious, keeping the machine stocked full of products that customers enjoy and keeping an eye on the expiry date. Let me give you an example. Uh, we used to have a vending machine at the office and the operator did not pay much attention to it. Uh, for one, they were selling filtered uh, bottled water while we have filtered and free water everywhere on the premises. Coca-Colas were always sold out, but the water stayed on month after month after month. They made no sales on the water and we, the employees, felt like there is really no point in going to that machine because it will not have the products that we enjoy. They also stocked cheese crackers that always expired and nobody ever bought. When the filler arrived to fill the machine, guess what? They just restocked it with new crackers and threw the expired ones away. Needless to say, we don't have this machine at the office anymore. But the truth of the matter is, with telemetry, it is so easy to remedy these issues and build that habit of visiting the machine on a regular basis. For one, use planogram analysis to understand which items sell well and which don't. Input expiry dates in the system and plan routes to include machines where the products are about to expire. Keep track of the stock levels and make sure that machines do not run out of the customer's favorite snacks. Also, do not look at the stock level only as a whole. Pay attention to your star products. If they sell out, your sales will dwindle away. You have access to past sales data and analytics tools that will help you figure out what to do. Or simply look at the top selling machines. What products do they have? Perhaps you can use the same planogram on a mother machine. The possibilities are endless. And while identifying room for improvement will take effort, the return on investment will be worth the time. Data shows that it is rather easy to put off customers. They might give you one chance and then never return. For sure, if it is an office with no other options in the vicinity, consumers will have less choice to switch over to another provider. But a time will pass and they will come up with a new way. For instance, start bringing snacks to work and keeping them in their drawers. Next up, we have machine availability. There's no point in having a fully stocked machine if it cannot sell. Here, the main culprits are usually the payment options. For one, users want quick, effortless, and convenient payments. Every year, the demand for contactless payments increases. Research says that in Europe, up to eight out of 10 uh, transactions are now made by card. In vending, we still see that in some markets, cashless devices are the exception rather than the norm. But the new generation is very fond of contactless and payment and mobile payments. So if you skip those customers, it will be quite hard for you to build that loyalty. Of course, the devices must be in a working order. And again, telemetry can flag any machines with issues and they can be fixed in a timely manner instead of five days later when the filler arrives at the location and finds out that the machine is still full because it could not sell anything. For cash payments, having enough change is, that is available is one thing to monitor. Otherwise, it's either exact change, uh, asking the customer for overpay or no sale at all. And that will result in a disappointed customer. All of these experiences, which consumers now consider the minimum target, will create a sense of trust. 
this is a machine I can visit again, as it creates a positive feeling that I can, when I interact with it. Here, we must also mention the aspect of hygiene. For instance, keeping the screen of the vending machine clean, or when it comes to coffee machines, there's liquids, so there are possible spillages. If the machine looks like it has seen better days, time and time again, uh, it will not make consumers happy, and they will look elsewhere to satisfy their craving. Now we come to the point that is most associated with loyalty, enticing the customer to make the first purchase or rewarding them for making repeat purchases, thus promoting loyalty. Again, we have some research to back it up. 61% of customers think that surprise gifts and offers are the main reason that they can uh, remain loyal to the brand. And 60% of customers say that unexpected rewards are the biggest reason that they will stay loyal to a brand. Discounts and rewards may seem counterintuitive at first, as it means earning less on the purchase or earning nothing at all. So I do it. Uh, well, it is a proven way to make customers return and give you additional sales. Let's say you'll give 50% off on the first item purchased through a vending mobile app. This causes a positive association with the machine, with the app, and inadvertently with your brand as well. And this in turn could motivate the customer to return for another purchase. Psychologically, this would be explained by the anticipation of another reward. It does not mean you should now discount every sale for the customer. Unexpected rewards have been shown that the possibility of a reward is enough. It triggers the pleasure center in our brain. Then you also have the possibility of introducing a clear path towards a reward. For instance, a buy four, get fifth for free promotion, essentially a stamp card. For younger generations, such as students, this is an especially attractive reward uh, that they are used to. And we see loads of it in coffee shops, petrol stations, and other kiosks. Again, uh, guaranteed four sales and one free sale in the end will be likely more profitable than just a single sale over the same period of time. And for sure, these purchases will lead to an increase in the customer's trust and loyalty. In traditional retail, consumers buy a range of items in one go. So a discount on a beloved item will usually increase the total basket value, which means that customers will grab extra items on top of the discounted one. In vending, that may be less so, although a discount on a sandwich may lead to an extra sale on a drink to accompany the meal. And again, strengthen your position in the market. Here, the key would be don't overdo it, especially in public vending. You do not have to supply a steady stream of benefits. The main thing is to give the customer the sense of anticipation that something extra nice might await them if they visit your machine. Now we come to a point which is sometimes underestimated but absolutely crucial for any business owner, and that is customer service and listening to your customers. I'm sure we have all had experiences of both extremes exceptional customer service and an interaction that you would not wish on anyone. You may now think to yourselves, if this negative experience has had any effect on your future business with the company, or if you've managed to look past it or have parted ways with this brand. So what does great customer, experience, customer service mean? You could wrap it up in a very simple explanation, resolving a customer query as quickly as possible. And speed is he key here. In these times, waiting is not an option and it will have a negative impact on customer satisfaction. The main goal, of course, is to help the customer so their needs must be put first. And the query must be sold with as little input from the customer as possible. For instance, if they call you and tell you that the card has been declined, it is great if you have a tool where you can look up this particular transaction and give them the reason why that happened. Uh, one thing to remember here is that people tend to remember poor customer experiences much better than their positive ones, which is why a single instance of bad service can cancel out 10 positive ones. Here's yet another thing, getting people to actually reach out to you. 
uh, many studies show that up to 90% of customers whose experience has not been great will not say anything and just not return. That is why it is vital to minimize the possible failures. If, however, their experience with your product has been great so far and something happens, they will be more understanding and trust you to fix the issue, which again leads to the necessity of top-notch customer service. We also have customer feedback to consider. How do you find out if people are happy with the products and services you provide outside of customer complaints? Here's another piece of research. 77% uh, of customers say that they favor brands that ask for and accept feedback. Thus, getting feedback and acting on it is yet another way to shift customer preferences. It can be a simple QR code that you place on the machine, which leads to a Google survey. Uh, where users can just leave comments on their experience. Just don't forget to monitor these replies and get back to the users if they leave their contact information. If nothing changes, customers will feel cheated. We have now looked at the aspects that make for a great customer experience, but these are just outcomes of a job well done. Uh, there's a crucial link between the vending machine and the consumer. And these are your employees and partners that also you have to keep happy uh, and loyal for your business to run smoothly. I'm not talking about salaries and benefits here, which for sure contribute greatly to employee satisfaction. This is about the organizational matters, how easy it is for them to do their job and feel appreciated. If we take stock management, for instance, drivers and warehouse employees do the heavy lifting here. For them, organization is key. They need to know what stock uh, to pack and where to find these items in the warehouse. Seasoned employees may know the location of every snack bar by heart, but for a new employee, that can be a struggle. For that, you have a pre kitting list. For the drivers and refillers, routes with clear stops, with addresses, with navigation support, pick lists, both paper and electronic, are a must. And we know that refillers will usually take care of the machine as a whole. So they need to know what to do. Do I collect cash? Is there a technical event that I have to look at? Uh, are there any other tasks for me? Uh, our route planning tool will take care of all, of all of that. For customer service, the requirements are a bit different. One, they need to have the tools to fix issues. For instance, refund cash flow transactions in case of damaged packaging, or send virtual credit to a machine in case the product was not dispensed. Or simply look up the history of the machine so they know where the issue is. Clear guidelines on how to check and fix issues will help them do a better job, which will translate to a better customer experience. And knowing that they have somebody to reach out to within the company will also make them feel in times of insecure uncertainty. Then we have the operations staff, back office colleagues like accountants or data analysts. For them, data is the holy grail. The ability to get reports that fit their needs is essential so that they can analyze machine performance, organize billing, and optimize planograms. As large organizations will usually have multiple systems in place, uh, integrations are crucial. Well-written APIs that can be easily integrated into an ERP system. Our API interface is something that we are very proud of, and rightly so. Our customers love it. Then we have your partners, for instance, the location owners your machines are placed in. Having these machines regularly stocked and serviced will build trust. This can be a way for you to get access to an even better location. Uh, plus, arriving to fix issues before the location owners have to reach out is also invaluable. And real-time technical data makes it possible. You can also benefit from access to a loyalty program make the owners VIP customers and offer discounted products to them. Some of our customers actually use this approach to score better placements, which again contributes to revenue growth. Lastly, we have your suppliers, companies that provide the products to your warehouse. That is also a relationship you should definitely nurture. And the easiest way to do that is good order management. Avoiding last minute orders that place a strain on the supplier and risk machines running empty. That's what telemetry is all about. Knowing how much stock you have left and seeing it is time to place a new stock order. 
So there you have it. On the surface, these things might seem very basic and very easy, but the execution actually takes quite a lot of effort and dedication. So <laughs> how can Vendon help? Uh, at the beginning, I mentioned that we have a full suite of solutions that any vending or coffee operator might require. One would be telemetry that provides real-time sales and technical data. Many machine manufacturers now have also created their own solutions, but they have a limitation. They only process data from their own machines. In our experience, operators will usually have machines from multiple manufacturers in the field. So an IoT device, which is capable of connecting to all of them is really invaluable. Then we have our own contactless payment solution. It's a beautiful contactless reader that accepts card payments and mobile payments like Apple Pay and Google Pay with attractive commission rates and tools that make supporting customers a breeze from finding specific transactions to refunding sales straight from the cloud interface to looking up reasons for decline. Uh, I can't go without mentioning uh, our uh, payment and loyalty platform, QuickPick. It is a ready-made tool for those operators looking to introduce an element of loyalty uh, and mobile payments. QuickPick is a mobile app with a wide range of options. Customers can receive discounts and freebies, top up their wallets with cash, and link their payment cards to the app, thus making the shopping experience effortless. Of course, it is supported by our Vendon Cloud where a user management system allows operators to manage members and follow sales. Then we have powerful APIs for smooth integrations. First, APIs can transport data from Vendom to your system, being an inventory management system or a billing tool. But that is not it. Our APIs allow you to build your own custom solutions. For instance, a barcode discount solution or even a payment app. In the cloud interface, you have access to rich reports and analytics tools uh, from sales to cash data to technical history and others. You can make informed business decisions uh, and that will also facilitate your uh, daily operations. Our route planning is an excellent tool that helps operators map out machine visits based on various filters and triggers. This helps cut maintenance costs uh, as you avoid the necessary visits and grow revenue as the machines will always be uh, able to sell. Notably, it is not just a tool for, for planning stock refills, but also includes cash control, technical maintenance and task lists so that the machine can be fully serviced in one go. Then we have remote machine management like price changes, remote reboot of the machine, electronic tray label updates, with Vendon, you decide what the machine does without needing to be actually physically there. And lastly, user management. It may seem like a very small thing, but efficient user management can make an operator's life much easier. Vendon offers a very detailed user access system, which means that each employee can have a custom set of permissions to perform their duties. Plus, you can even provide access to your customers by limiting which machines they can see and uh, which parts of the cloud interface they can access. That way, our cloud system actually becomes like a self-service portal and it gives your customers oversight of what is happening with the machines. I hope you're well on your way to customer loyalty, uh, but if not, perhaps we can help. Uh, you can stop by our booth at Ventra uh, it's H011012, just by the main entrance in Blue Hall, or just reach out to our capable team uh, by visiting vendon.net and filling out the request form, and we will get back to you shortly to discuss your business needs and understand if we are a great fit. So this concludes our time together. Uh, my presentation is over. I see that we have a few questions lined up. So I'm going to look into what they are and uh, go through them. OK, uh, so there's a question regarding uh, loyalty and NFC cards. Uh, as I said uh, earlier, we have a uh, loyalty system, QuickPick, which works with the mobile app. And we also offer uh, NFC cards. So it means that, let's say, a, an employee's door card or access card can also serve as a loyalty card. Basically, they can use the same card on a number of machines and get their rewards. Uh, 
if you have a specific reader on the machine, uh, which you already have, we have to see whether this um, reader can be integrated into our system, whether we have support for it, but that is something that we uh, would be able to discuss later on. And another question is uh, what is needed from my side as an operator? Uh, I would say that the main thing that is needed is the willingness to actually make it all happen. I think that sometimes when we're speaking about telemetry, we forget that it takes hard work to actually implement the system. So you should be prepared for the ups and downs, but at the end, you will find yourself on the top. Without telemetry, I don't see any vending businesses running so successfully in, a long, in the long run. Okay, so the next question is, is there customer service provided after integrating the QuickPick solution? And if we will provide any assistance? Absolutely, we pride ourselves on our uh, customer service. Our customer support team is very capable, very fast, and very much interested in solving any of your possible problems. So you shouldn't worry about that at all. Uh, eh, here's another question about how fast the inquiries are usually processed. Um, our response times are very quick. We will usually get back to you within a few hours time. And then depending on our investigation, whether something needs doing, uh, that can be uh, a couple of hours to probably, if that's a large issue, to a few days. But uh, we try to uh, provide service as fast as, uh, as fast as we can. Uh, we also have a question regarding notifications uh, or uh, text messages. If there's something wrong with the machine, for sure, that is, uh, that is absolutely doable. We have a specific alerting system and you can receive alerts via text messages, via our mobile app as a notification, and also via an email. And you can set up all kinds of limitations uh, so that you receive the notifications that are actually important specifically for you. And uh, lastly, the question is um, regarding my personal opinion on how the vending industry will develop in the next few, few years, especially with the focus on customer loyalty. I believe that customer loyalty will become a staple of the vending business because it is everywhere. It is in e-commerce, it is in regular retail. So it means that it will also transpire to the vending business. And without it, it will be quite different, difficult for operators to actually um, stay relevant as people are used to being rewarded for the purchases that they make. And I believe that loyalty programs will only become more popular and they will actually never dwindle down. Okay, uh, I think that concludes all of the questions that have been sent in. Uh, I, once again, thank you for your time together and uh, I wish you a nice day and I hope to see you uh, at our booth uh, tomorrow. So goodbye everybody. <laughs>